What's up fellas? Welcome to another video with me, Vince. Thank you for joining. So today we've got a bit of a banger for you. We're going to be looking at dating profile pictures, how to get the best photos, how to get them rated by women, and essentially how to maximize your dating profile pictures to get you the most dates, the best quality, and just overall increase and enhance your dating life. So look, before we get started, if you're enjoying the content, you like what you've seen so far, please take two seconds to subscribe to the channel. It does massively for me, for the algorithms, helps me out and it helps me get that content out to more guys. So this is a question that comes up a lot, especially in the, in the manosphere and the dating worlds, how to get better pictures and also the importance of those pictures. Now I'll give you a quick anecdote. Imagine you're walking down a high street and you see a restaurant. You're hungry, you'd like to get something to eat, but the restaurant, the exterior looks terrible, it looks run down, it's not, not looking good at all. Are you likely to take a chance and go in there hoping that underneath all of that somehow is a good restaurant? Similarly, you go into a restaurant, restaurant, restaurant food looks terrible, the presentation is awful. All of these things are going to influence your decision to go to that restaurant, try that food. Imagine that's the same as dating, especially now that the majority of people are using dating apps or meeting online. What that means is those initial expectations that you have, those initial impressions that you have are so, so important for getting yourself a match, a conversation, a number, a date, and, and so on. So before you start anything, before you look at improving your dating profile pictures, getting new photos, you have to have a very honest look at yourself in the mirror and say, right, am I wearing good quality clothes that fit me and I look good in, I feel confident in? Is my beard trimmed? Are my teeth white? Am I pasty white or have I got a nice tan? You don't want to be looking like Casper the Ghost in all of your photos, do you? <laughs> have you got a good haircut? Is the haircut amplify? and improve your overall aesthetics. Like, and again, on one of my previous videos, I explained what haircut goes with what face shape, so check that one out. Are you in shape? Have you been inside the gym in the last 10 years? Stuff like that. Now, my view is that it's important to do all these things to improve yourself, physically and mentally, before you get these photos. If you really want to get started, then the quickest stuff is obviously haircut, beard, go to a sunbed, stuff like that you can do very quickly. The gym and physique, that's gonna take a bit longer. But if you're not massively fat or obese, you can definitely just improve things by having good fitting clothes and improving all of these quite quick. Haircut, beard, teeth, skin, so on. Now what you wanna do is you wanna get a couple of good outfits that you can change. So a couple of different jumpers, jackets, hoodies, whatever you like wearing, whatever looks good, maybe some sunglasses, maybe a couple of different outfits. Get a friend of yours, find a camera. So find a friend who has a decent camera and get them to come up with you and just start snapping photos of you. Go to a nice place on a nice day when the sun's out or it's good, you know, intriguing background. So for me, it's the top of, you know, a mountain and, or a small hill in Edinburgh. It's got amazing views. It's got, you know, really cool architecture. It's also got the hills and the mountains. It just looks wicked. Maybe pick out a couple of spots before you start the day. So you're like, right, we're gonna take some photos here, we're gonna take some photos there. Just get your friend to literally just smash the photos out. Take two, three, hundred. Because from two, three hundred, there will be two or three that are really good and you'll wanna keep. That's the volume you're gonna to have to do to narrow it down to some, some awesome photos. But the whole point of that is you take loads and there'll be a particular angle or photo or background which is just really gonna work for you. Your friend, how do you get their friend to do it? Well, a good friend will do it, no questions asked. But also you could say to your friend, well, we'll, we'll swap. I'll take photos of you, you take photos of me. And just make it like a day, like a little morning thing where you're both improving your photos and, and both improving, ideally, your, your dating profiles. So let's say you get two, three, four really good photos of you. That's wicked. Hopefully what you've also got is some group photos or some quirky photos that you already have. So a group of you and friends on the beach on holiday. Uh, you and... I don't know, some other friends doing fun things. 
So you want to add those kind of portrait, really high quality photos of you yourself with a couple of candid, real, you know, like you're with a group of friends or you're doing an activity, you like you're rock climbing, you're playing basketball, whatever it is. Now it's important, you have your own perception and vision of what looks good, photos, clothes, so on. Now the best thing that I've done recently in the last six months of the year is I've started to get my photos rated. Now I'll put the link in below, the link to the website is called Photo Feeler. This is a, a phone app really, a, a website online um, that you can upload your photos and you can get them rated by the opposite sex. It's really cool, you upload the photo, you say what range of women you want to get rated and that's really important. Don't have, you know, 18 to 50, 50 year old women rating you. I'm 32 and my de Q demographic is 21 to 30, the type, the age of girls I'm going for. So I'm 30 down. I don't want, I don't want rated by women in the 40s because I'm, I'm not interested in women in the 40s. So be very, very specific in that because you might find women in the 40s find you very attractive, whereas women in the 25 don't. If you're aiming for 25 year olds, that's the work you got. That's the, the area you've got to focus on. So make sure you get the age range, put your photo on, and then you can pay for very quick votes uh, and women will rate you on your attractiveness, the smartness and trustworthiness. Trustworthiness and, and smartness, just ignore that. It's just all about are the photos good that they find you attractive because it's a dating profile. So yeah, you can pay for that really quick and you can get loads of votes very quick or what you can do is karma, point, karma points. And essentially what that is is you vote on other people's photos, you build up karma, so you probably need to rate 20, 30 different people's photos. That gives you enough karma to get something like eight to 10 votes, which is wicked. So you do the karma, so you vote on other people's photos, other girls, then you put it on your picture and you just wait. So you're probably gonna have to wait, you know, half a day to get those votes back and it will rate you out of, essentially out of 10. Now, a couple of caveats, it's gonna take you, you probably want 20 to 30 votes, maybe 40 votes on each photo to get a, you know, a precise ranking of what you're looking for. Second thing is, like, don't take it personally. For me, I've literally put on maybe 20, 15, 20 different photos. Some photos I thought were really good were rated by 30 different people as average, below average, whatever. Some photos I put on have, have rated very, very highly. But it, it should really help you identify the best photos because if 40 different girls are rating you very highly on a photo, then that's clearly a very good photo and something you should put on your dating app. If you're being voted low, don't take it personally. Just understand that the photo itself is being rated poorly. Doesn't mean you're not a good guy. Doesn't mean you're not good looking or potentially to be good looking, whatever it is. Just understand that not every photo is gonna be liked by every woman. Therefore, you have to be specific. This is a good thing because it means you're only gonna have, what, five or six pro, uh, dating pictures on your profile. So you're only gonna need four, five, six photos. So if you put 10 photos on there and four of them have terrible rankings, who cares? You just know, don't use them. Just to wrap up then, fellas, what you wanna do, do you wanna do a bit of work on your on your appearance, clothes, beard, hair, and so on? You wanna get a friend, you wanna get a good camera, you wanna go out and take tons and tons of photos, and you're gonna get three or four really good ones from a couple of hundred. Then you wanna go into Photo Feeler, and you want to get those photos rated, using that amazing feedback you're getting from other girls who are anonymous, you don't know who they are, uh, that will really direct you into the which are the best photos which you can use for your dating profile. And finally, for me personally, the differences of quality of women that I was getting matched with from before doing this to after doing these steps is unbelievable. The quality of the standard is through the roof. So that's what I recommend for you fellas. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, see you next video.